Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a more dramatic, impactful look to your landscape photos by using the Perspective Warp tool in Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today I'm gonna to be working on this photo, which I got from unsplash.com. Right, so firstly, what we want to do is I'm going to be showing you how to use the scale tool to actually make the lines a little bit more dramatic and make this mountain look a bit taller. And then I'm gonna be showing you how to use the perspective tool. So what we're gonna do is firstly go ahead and duplicate the background layer. So I'm gonna go and press Command J on our keyboard and that will just simply duplicate the background layer. Then what we want to do is go up to edit and we want to go down to transform and then we want to go ahead and click scale. Now we'll scale these anchor points in the corners and in the middle of the top left, bottom and right, as you can see have now appeared. So what we can do now is actually scale it to make it look taller. So what I'm gonna do is hold down shift on your keyboard and then we're gonna go ahead to the top one and we're gonna go ahead and drag that upwards as you can see here. So it's actually making the mountains a bit taller. And then what we could do is go to the bottom one here. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that downwards. So we're making the, uh, the actual mountains look a lot taller than they originally were. And then what we can do is go ahead and click OK. So as you can see, if we do the before and we do the after, already the background looks a lot more dramatic and it looks a lot more intense and it looks a lot taller which is really good. The only problem with this effect is it warps absolutely everything in the photo. So almost if you don't necessarily want to do that, let's say you've got people or you've got a building in the background and you don't necessarily mess with the entire perspective, well that's when you can use the perspective warp tool. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just simply delete that background. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and just make a brand new background. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, make sure we've got that background selected. We're gonna go back up to edit. We're gonna go back down to transform again, but instead of choosing scale, we're gonna go ahead and select warp this time. And as you can see, very similar anchor points appear, but instead of actually scaling the photo, we can actually change each part of the photo by dragging it with your mouse. So what we're gonna do is I want to make this mountain a little bit taller. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that mountain upwards. And as you can see, these anchor points are now moving. So you can either use the mouse like I'm using here, so you can drag that down here, down here as well, or you can actually use the anchor points and you can drag that upwards just like so. So let's say we want to go ahead and drag it upwards. Lovely. But as you can see, the horizon is now not straight and it's affecting the bottom part of the photo. So how can we prevent this? Well, we can actually use the split tool to actually add in anchor points to the perspective warp tool. And the way to do that is if we go up to the left-hand side, a very at the top here, and we've got three. So we've got the horizontal, we've got the vertical, and we've got the crosswise tool. And this is up and obviously down. Now obviously we want to fix horizon, which is obviously horizontal. So let's go ahead and select the horizontal tool here. Once you've got that selected, a brand new anchor point will appear. So all you need to do now is match up the horizon line, which is just here. So we'll go ahead and click. And as you can see, two more anchor points have been made. So all you need to do now is simply drag these anchor points downwards to re-match up the horizon line again. So it is nice and straight. And we'll do that like so. So as you can see, if we add a little bit more height to this mountain, we'll do it like so. And what we could do is actually drag the entire horizon downwards, like so. And as you can see, this mountain looks a lot taller. So once we are happy with the results, I think I'm happy here, we can go ahead and click OK. But the problem is it's warped the whole, the sky looks terrible. It's all warped, it's all out of proportion. So instead of trying to actually independently fix it, we can just simply replace it using the sky replacement tool in Photoshop. So let's make sure we've got that background selected. We're gonna go ahead up to edit, and then I'm gonna go ahead down to sky replacement. And what it'll do after the uh, Photoshop will do its thing and it will automatically replace the sky for us. So what I'm gonna do is just make the sky a little bit brighter. Go for something like that. Make it a little bit cooler, I think would work quite nice. 
make it a little bit bigger, let's say. Let's go for something like so. I'm liking that. Lovely. And of course, if you always want to replace a different type of sky, just click on this top thumbnail here. And then once you're happy with the result, go ahead and click OK. So as you can see, it has now made a brand new layer here. So what I can do is now show you the before, and then I can show you the after. And immediately, look at how much more dramatic that mountain looks and how much larger than life it looks. And it looks really, really good. Now, obviously, you don't want to do this with every single photo, but I must say, if you're making, you want to make a photo a lot more impactful and you're not necessarily worried about keeping it true to life, then using the perspective warp tool looks amazing. Brilliant. And there we go, guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Lightroom, and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss anything. You can find my latest Photoshop tutorial just up here, and you can find my latest two-minute tutorials just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating. Thank you.